I always wanted to make leather that was more artistic than functional. Instead of people seeing my items and thinking how many cards can fit in that pocket or you know, how much cash can I fit in that pouch, I wanted them to look at it and say, that's pretty. So I had to blend aesthetics with functionality, but I lean more towards aesthetics. When I graduated from college, I was working in construction for my family business. It was hot in the summers, cold in the winters, and my dad always said, use your brain, not your hands. So I got a job at the credit union. So I kept moving up and moving up, and then the next thing I knew, I was just getting tired of the whole atmosphere of banking and going to meetings and no individuality. So I just started looking for things to do. I was ordering some planner from another leather crafter years ago, and I asked him if he could just send me a piece of leather to make a pocket on the back of my bag with, and he did, and it was just oddly enjoyable. That's really what started it. I researched and researched and watched YouTube videos, and I learned how to do edges, I learned how to do glue better. You know, I would take a little bit of this person's style, a little bit of that person's style, and then put it together and make my style. And then I accidentally got good, I guess. I figured if I were to take those eight hours that I was at the credit union and made leather items, that I could make just as much or more. So, I put my two weeks in. If anyone were to come to this house at any given time, you could find almost any sort of crafting or artwork going on. My wife is an artist artist, painter, stained glass, pencil, charcoal, I'm playing because I've worked this morning, so I've earned to play now. She's also a hairstylist, which is an art form all on its own. One day I looked out in the backyard and my son Mason was stacking up bricks. And I went out there and he had built a little forge in the yard. And that's when I was like, I think he's serious about it. What are you working on, Mace? Tom. And he just started making everything you could imagine. And my other son, Nick, does lathe work, so he makes pens and duck calls. What's up, Nick? What's going on? Both sons have acquired a craft that has nothing at all to do with my craft. It was a lot harder to go out back and build a forge or go research what wood goes in with what. And it's just cool that they did something different, but they're still just as passionate about it. I like to be surrounded with things that are pleasing to the eye, and Colonial Williamsburg is pleasing to the eye. You tell me to close my eyes and slowly pull the curtains. I hear you shut the lights. How I wish you could cut the noise. How I wish you could cut the noise. I feel fortunate to live in this area because of the history and how accessible the Colonial District is. If you look at my work, you'll see a lot of flow. You don't want your eye to just suddenly stop. And I get a lot of that from architecture in Colonial Williamsburg. A regular department store wallet, there's one and a half to two ounce thick, and mine's at least four times thicker. And a department store wallet can last sometimes 10 years, but I would say average, mine would probably last 275 years? I don't know. Your room is 
It'll last your lifetime, that's for sure. I can feel you getting and probably your kids. I pretend to sleep while you dress. All I hear is the noise. All I hear is a noise. Well, when I figured out that branding was important, I started with the Facebook page and then I researched in photography. So then I would take a picture and post it. Practice, take a picture, post it. I just kept going deeper and deeper and deeper. What I try to do is have it so that someone could imagine them in the photograph. Anyone can see what the wallet is, but you might as well have fun with the story. People see the picture and almost instantly recognize that it's a mask on leather photo. So I'm able to do well with the leather and also do well with reach. Everyone wanted me to do YouTube videos. What I found with the video is that I enjoy the creative process because it's, it's so different than photography and obviously so different than leather. I have so much more area, so many more angles, lights. It is a lot more creative. It's a lot more satisfying. I think I spilled coffee in the first video and people commented that it made it so that it wasn't just this step, this step, this step. Well, then I realized I never took into consideration who my audience was. I should have known because that's what I did. Three years ago, you were in a bank. And now you're crafting leather. Do you feel like the man? I'm blessed. I never expected it. The fact that my items are sold globally and that people are willing to wait, it's flattering and very humbling. It makes my decision to leave the corporate world the right decision, for sure. And we're happy. Yes, 20 years, and now we're finally happy. Makes a big difference, then. It's unbelievable. <laughs>